In this problem, it reads that James purchased three notebooks for 79 cents apiece. He also purchased a box of pencils for $2.49 and a binder for $7.50. It says that James also paid 73 cents in taxes. If James paid the cashier with $15, how much change should James get back? Well, to solve this problem, we just have to figure out how much all of his costs were, including the three notebooks, the box of pencils, the binder, and the taxes, and subtract that total from $15. So the first thing that we are going to do is figure out how much he paid for the notebooks. So we are going to multiply 79 cents by 3. 3 times 9 is 27. Carry the 2. 3 times 7 is 21, plus 2 is 23. And there are two numbers after the decimal, so we must put our decimal in this spot in our answer. So James paid $2.37 for notebooks. Now, we're going to add $2.37 to $2.49 for the box of pencils. And then we are going to add to that $7.50 that he paid for the binder and of course we have 73 cents for taxes and we're going to add that total up when adding decimals you have to make sure that your decimal point is lined up so we're going to drop that down and then add our columns together 7 plus 9 is 16 plus 3 more is 19 carry the 1 1 plus 3 is 4 plus 4 more is 8 plus 5 is 13, plus 7 is 20, so we place a 0 here and carry the 2. And now we have 2, 4, 6, plus 7 is 13. So altogether, James would have paid $13.09, but the problem does not want to know just the total. We want to know how much change he would get back if he pays with $15. So we have to subtract $13.09 from $15. Now when you subtract decimals, you also have to make sure that the decimal point is lined up and drop that point straight down. Also you should remember that whatever your answer is going to be, if you add that answer to $13.09, it should total exactly $15. And a lot of times I like to encourage students to figure out what you would add to this number right here. So it totals $15 because that helps eliminate borrowing problems. For example, I would ask, how far away is $13.09 from 15? And just to get to $14, we're at $13.09 right now, so we would need 91 more cents just to get to $14. And after you get to $14, it's only one more dollar to 15. So I know that the difference between these two numbers would be $1.91. And that is how much change James would receive back.